In order to do triple integrals using spherical coordinates, we need to know what the volume element dv is in spherical coordinates. Now this is going to be a fairly long calculation involving the Jacobian, but when we get done, we're going to memorize the answer, so we don't need to go through this calculation each time. So first of all, let me remind you uh, what the spherical coordinates are. I'll do it the way that I have it memorized. For x, y, and z, going downward, it's row, row, row. Going upward, it's cosine z, sine z, sine z. And going back downward, cosine theta, sine theta. Maybe you've come up with a better idea, a better way of remembering that, but that's what works for me. And our goal is to figure out what dv is. It's going to be something times d rho dv d theta. And actually, we can write in, at least in principle, what goes here. is going to be the absolute value of the determinant of the Jacobian matrix. So the Jacobian matrix is made up of the derivatives of x, y, and z with respect to a rho, b, and theta. And that's going to be the big calculation we need to make. So let's see if we can write down that Jacobian matrix. Uh, going across, it's going to be the derivative of x with respect to rho, derivative of x with respect to b, derivative of x with respect to theta, and then similarly for y and z. So let's take all those partial derivatives. dx d rho is sine phi cosine theta dx dv is rho cosine phi cosine theta. And dx d theta is negative rho sine phi sine theta. Moving on to y, the derivative of y with respect to rho is sine phi sine theta. The derivative of y with respect to phi is rho cosine phi sine theta. And the derivative of y with respect to theta is rho sine phi cosine theta. And finally, z. The derivative of z with respect to rho is cosine phi. The derivative of z with respect to phi is negative rho sine phi. And z doesn't depend on theta, so the derivative of z with respect to theta is zero. And now we need to take the absolute value of the determinant of that quantity. So let's start those calculations over here. So I'm going to expand across the top row. So starting off, I have sine phi cosine theta times the determinant of rho cosine phi sine theta, negative rho sine phi sine theta, Oops. rho sine phi cosine theta, negative rho sine phi, and zero, minus this one, rho cosine phi cosine theta, times the determinant of sine phi sine theta rho sine phi cosine theta 
cosine b at zero plus the last one plus a negative, so that's minus rho sine b sine theta times the determinant of sine b sine theta. Rho cosine b sine theta, cosine t, and negative rho sine t. Let's take a quick look at that before we erase anything over here. Just make sure that looks right. Good. Okay. So let's take each of these two by two determinants. So I have sine phi cosine theta times zero minus a negative rho squared sine squared phi cosine theta. Minus rho cosine phi cosine theta times zero minus rho sine phi cosine phi cosine theta minus rho sine phi sine theta. times negative rho sine squared phi sine theta minus rho cosine squared phi sine theta. Okay. Now we're going to continue distributing and we're going to hope that we're going to be able to use the Pythagorean theorem over and over again in order to keep simplifying. So let's distribute up here. I'll get rho squared sine cube phi cosine squared theta. The negative times the negative is plus rho squared sine phi cosine phi, oops, sorry, sine phi times cosine squared phi, cosine squared theta. Let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign into here so that I only have pluses. And actually, instead of multiplying the rho sine phi sine theta into the parentheses, let's factor a rho sine theta out of the parentheses, because that will leave me with the sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi on the inside. So I'm going to factor out a rho sine theta. So when I factor out a rho, I get a rho squared sine phi times the sine theta that I'm factoring out, so that's sine squared theta. And then left inside is sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi. And those add to one. Feel like we're getting closer. Notice in these first two terms, I can also factor some stuff out. I can factor out a row squared I can factor out a sine phi, and I can also factor out a cosine squared theta. So I'm working with these two terms. And when I factor that out, I have a sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi 
left inside. And let's not forget, I still have a row squared sine phi sine squared theta left inside. Now, sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi is 1. And now I'm down to two terms. And those, those two terms have a row squared sine phi in common. And when you factor that out, you get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which again is 1. So rho squared sine phi is what that Jacobian determinant simplifies to. So what this means is that BV in spherical coordinates is going to be the absolute value of rho squared sine phi times d rho d phi d theta. Now we can make things just a little bit better if we observe that rho squared is always going to be non-negative, so I don't need that in absolute values. And also remember that when we set up our bounds, phi equals zero corresponds to the north pole, and phi equals pi is the south pole. And if we let phi go from zero to pi, and theta go from zero to two pi, uh, then we can sweep out all of space. Uh, rho will go from zero to infinity. So that means that phi, let me write it down, at most is going to go from zero to pi, and between 0 and pi, sine is always positive. So as long as my phi stays between 0 and pi, then I don't need an absolute value on the sine phi either. And then this is worth memorizing. So I'm going to put it all together. You need to memorize for spherical coordinates. First of all, what x, y, and z are. Uh, x is rho sine phi cosine theta, y is rho sine phi sine theta, and z is rho cosine phi. And you also need to memorize that the volume element is rho squared sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. And if you have this memorized, the volume element memorized, then you don't need to go to that Jacobian calculation maybe ever again. <laughs>